Shalom, welcome to Rob on the Rock. In this video, we're going to do something fun. We're going to look at the Paleo Hebrew that appeared in the classic movie Raiders of the Lost Ark. So, the other day, I watched this classic movie. It's 40 years old, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I remembered that there's uh, some Paleo Hebrew writing on the medallion that Indiana Jones has to put on the staff in order to locate where the Ark of the Covenant is buried. And if you haven't seen the movie, you can check it out. It's, it's very entertaining and imaginative, of course. And here's a, a picture of the scene where Indy has a, a local Egyptian um, translator help him understand the markings uh, on the medallion. And so I have a couple shots here that I just pulled from the movie. And you can see here uh, the Hebrew writing around uh, the margin here in the, in the circumference. And, and then the, he flips it over and you see the other side. So uh, I didn't make note of the exact script that the translator provides. Um, but what's funny is that we'll look at the Hebrew here in a minute, but it, it shows that he has it backwards. So <laughs> in terms of the content is that the, the staff has to be so long and then you turn it over, you turn the medallion over, and then it tells you to subtract uh, a unit of measure to honor the Hebrew God whose ark this is, he says. So what's funny is that uh, there's two things uh, that are funny. Um, is First is the, the side that the viewer sees first is actually the statement of the subtraction. Uh, but the way it comes out in, in the, the scene is he's reading this side first that you see here. And he's interpreting it. And then he says, wait. And then he turns it over and you see this. And he adds the information of the subtraction. Well, so first off, he's, he, he should have started with this side and then said, wait, and then read this bit here. Um, but that's not the only thing. So while uh, this uh, shot here, it's right side up. The second one, when he flips it, it's upside down. Um, so he would be reading the Hebrew upside down. So it's just a funny quirk that, yes, there, there's indeed some Paleo Hebrew uh, on this um, headpiece or medallion, whatever we call it, but obviously the actor doesn't read it. And it's actually uh, something that made it into the final edit of the movie. It's not that important. It goes by so quick that you're not going to be able to read it anyway. I actually uh, had to pull these from the uh, from a pause, obviously. Uh, and but what I did, I did some looking online, and I found someone. And I, sadly, I can't give the credit because I don't know who did the artwork. But uh, this might be by the original artist who designed the actual medallion. But it's a very a well done uh, uh, image of both sides here. And again, this is one image that has both, uh, but it's really backwards. This one here should be the one that's read first, and then it should be flipped over. And uh, this one would be uh, the second one that says to subtract. So with that in mind, let's, let's just look at the Hebrew here. So um, it's actually more legible on the image uh, in this in this case, uh, I'll, I'm going to change the color here so you can see. Uh, maybe I'll use yellow. Like right here is where we're looking. And if I zoom in, you can kind of see uh, that's actually uh, two tavs. So the, it's, it's a tav. I write a tav. Can you see that? Yeah, tav, tav, aleph, uh, and a Paleo-Hebrew mem. And then what looks like a paleo hebrew hay like that but it's losing it's it's lost its little foot and that's probably the artist who uh, made it maybe didn't know what they were doing uh, but it looks something like that uh, and then we have this other bit over here which is blurry in this image but um, it is a kuf mem tav vav which i read as komato its height it's, it's height, komato. 
And, and so this Hebrew reads something like, you know, there's a couple ways we could read it. Is it tit uh, ama, which is not even a verb, um, uh, or something like this, something its height. And this is not a real verb. You could read it as um, tit am, it will, be, it will be joined or something like that, its height. But I think it's actually not Hebrew. If someone can tell me, uh, correct me, that would be great. Um, the, the writing, of course, looks really nice. And then we see this image here. It's very clear, but there is uh, writing down here that we cannot see um, before, before this word here. So we would, again, with Hebrew, we start on the right and then we'd read around like that. So uh, for that, I'm going to use um, the, the colored uh, images here, the artist's representation. So this again, I would, I suggest is the first, is actually the first size or the first side um, that according to the script, he would read, it's, it's whatever this word is here, tit ama, uh, tav, tav, Aleph, Mem, He, and then Komato, which is its height. Uh, and then we go here, and this is the one I think is, is the best uh, uh, looking, uh, and it actually makes sense. It says, Ve Ama Achat, Ve Ama so I'm starting here and going that way. And the first word is vav for and, am, ama. And then ama is a cubit. Now in the, the movie, he says kadam, kadam or karam. I'm not sure exactly what, what it is, kadam, but it's not the Hebrew. It's a, some sort of other word. Here it's va, uh, ama, which is a cubit or uh, 18 inches. And then it says the next word here, achat. Va'ama achat, oops, which means one cubit, one ama. Va'ama achat. And if you want to look at the Paleo Hebrew, the, the vav is, looks like that. The aleph is like this. The, uh, the mem looks like this. And the uh, he looks like this. So that's va'ama, and then achat, we have aleph, and then the, the chet, and then the tav. Va'ama uh, achat. So the, the Paleo Hebrew, they did a pretty good job here. Uh, so, and one cubit me'al, me'al, which is mem, ayin, lamed. And that's what you see right here. It's a, a Hebrew or a Paleo-Hebrew mem, an ayin, which is just the circle, and then a lamed, ma'al. And I take that to mean ma'achat ma'al. It means, and one, uh, in the movie he says, take back one kadam. But what I mean, what I take it to mean is ma'achat ma'al, uh, meaning from it, from upon it, or from its height. You know, that's, this is just my interpretation. I, I don't know the, the creator of this text. You know, we have the script and then we have some artist who did all the work for the Ark of the Covenant in the movie, etc. imagining what that would be. Uh, then continuing on here, this is probably to me the most interesting bit is this last piece here. Uh, and it's, uh, I'm just going to go like this so we can... Maybe you can follow me along here. So this is kuf dalit shien. So I'm just going to transliterate it. That's a, a kuf dalit shien. And that's the word kodesh or kadosh or holiness. And then we come over to the next side and we have kaf bet dalit, which I'm going to vocalize with a holem there, kavod. Kavod in construct, kavod, and then we have the tetragrammaton here, yod, he, vav, he. So yod, he, vav, he. Kavod Adonai, the glory of the Lord. So something like uh, kadosh, 
kavod Adonai, the holiness of the glory of the Lord. And then we have the last bit. See if I can write upside down here. Another vav. Ve, ha. This is tough because I'm trying to draw upside down. Uh, mem, shin, kaf, and then a noon. Veha mishkan. Veha mishkan. And the tabernacle. So we have kavod, uh, kavod Adonai. Now, I should I should say here. Oops, I wrote, let me write that a little bit lower here. In the scripture, we never see kavod Adonai written like this. We it's always written with the full spelling. So there'll be a vav here, kavod. But technically, it doesn't have to be. We could read it as uh, kavod Adonai, the glory of the Lord, veha mishkan, and the tabernacle. So it's just a fun thing. I was watching this movie. It's 40 years old. It's an adventure about uh, a biblical item, right? The Ark of the Covenant. And then there's this medallion. Of course, this medallion is not a, in the Bible or anything like that. Um, but I just wanted to look at the artist's uh, work here, what he created, he or she created. And it looks like they did refer to some sort of Paleo-Hebrew uh, alphabet. Um, there is some uh, good knowledge of Hebrew here, and uh, but it does not correspond with the way the images came in order on the on the movie itself. On the movie itself, it should have been uh, this side first, properly though, with the eagle uh, right side up rather than upside down. Uh, in terms of the measurement of its height. And then when he says, wait, you must take back one kadam, then he would have, uh, should have flipped it over to this side. Uh, but this is the right side up, at least. The eagle or this bird is the right side up. So uh, this was fun. It was a classic movie in the 80s, of course. It did well. And it had this biblical adventure uh, associated with it. But of course, a lot... They took a little from the Bible and then took off from there. Uh, so it's not historically accurate, of course, or anything. But this was fun to look at how uh, Hebrew and Paleo-Hebrew is represented in the movies 40 years ago in 1981. I hope this was enjoyable to you, especially if you're a fan of Indiana Jones. Shalom.